Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you my 4-axis CNC foam cutting machine, which is right here. Uh, what it does is it cuts uh, wing cores for remote control airplanes out of foam. It gets you a nice, uh, clean, and very precise cut for shaping wings. And eventually, after you cut it, what you can do is you can sheet the wing with a plywood or a balsa and you get a nice, strong, stiff wing. I'm gonna show you how this works. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it cuts the foam and then afterwards, I'll go into the details about all the different pieces of hardware, the technical stuff and how it runs uh, from the computer. So this is the final wing right here. This one cut a little bit close on the bottom, but it still works. See, it's a nice clean cut. And on the program, I told it to cut off the, this would be the trailing edge and the leading edge to add room for some sheeting. So that's, that's it. So now I'm going to show you the different components of the CNC machine and how I built it. So uh, the main parts of it, you'll see these are the linear actuators for the uh, horizontal and vertical axes. This is a 500 millimeter actuator and this is a 200 millimeter actuator. So that gives you about 19.6 inches of travel and then about eight inches on the uh, other direction. These come fully assembled from eBay. I think for all four of these, cost me around 300 bucks, maybe 310 bucks. Pretty nice. They're not perfect, but they do a great job for cutting the foam on the machine. What I had to do, however, if you come look over here with the camera, I basically just drilled them, put a screw in there and attached it to these bolts down below. I got a, a clamp at Home Depot and I got a big spring and then I got some nichrome wire that I ran across the two and if you look on this side you'll see that I have a, a tensioner right here and that lets me tighten and loosen the wire as I see fit. You can see it's a little bit makeshift I just have it clamped down with some some uh, big old C clamps and then in the back I put this rod to, to hold it so it wouldn't move. Eventually I need to secure it in a, in a better way so that it's uh, more permanent but this is just to see if I can get everything working. Uh, if you come over this way you'll see what I'm using in order to drive the current through the wire. This is just a, a charger that one's by Hitech. 
what I'm using to hook up the stepper motors here to the computer is I'm using this device which I bought off eBay I believe it was like 80 bucks it's called the TB6560 and essentially it's a four axis stepper motor driver it hooks up with a parallel port that connects to the computer and then the signal comes through the parallel port converts it into signals for the stepper motors and then I'm driving that all with a power supply that I got at Fry's at the hardware store 350 watts I put a switch on it and I'm driving uh, 12 volts into the machine and then if you come over here you'll see this is the Linux CNC machine this is what's actually running the entire system this has a real-time operating system that lets you drive the stepper motors. It's a great system. I set it up here on the four-axis CNC machine. You can see the different shapes of the airfoil that were uh, cut on the uh, computer. Okay, so in order to drive the machine, you need to use what's called G-code, and basically the G-code tells the stepper motors and the machine how to move in order to make the cuts. There's a bunch of really cool softwares out there. I went ahead and actually wrote my own. I'd love for you guys to take a look at it tell me what you think. I'll put the link below. It's called Hot Wing CLI. And here's the website. You can get it on GitHub. There's installation instructions. It's pretty straightforward. And there's also a uh, tutorial on how to, to get started is right here and that'll guide you through how to how to use it and show you what you can do in a nutshell you get a configuration file and what you can do is modify that file with whatever airfoil you want the different sizes you want you can position and rotate the airfoils as you wish and then if you want to allow for in the example that I did, there was leading edge stock and trailing edge stock. You can also include those figures here. And then for the wing that I just cut, I'm going to put a, a 1 32nd sheeting of plywood on it. So I need to make sure to adjust for that. And then you can set up the size of your machine, the size of your foam, and then some different parameters, how fast you want to cut. And then also the curve rate, which is basically the allowance for the melting of the foam and, and the wire going through the foam. And then once you set up that, it basically creates the G-code by running the program. And have a look and let me know what you think. It's a Hot Wing CLI and you can find it on GitHub. So uh, hopefully that uh, gives you a good overview. Uh, it was a lot of fun to build. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me a line.